good day to you. Right, I wanted to make my wife a present for Christmas. Uh, as normal, I'm running late and it's now New Year's Eve. But I should carry on. Um, I wanted to make her a bedside lamp because hers has fallen apart. So, and I wanted to make it a little bit different, kind of steampunky, and use some brass. So what I did is I brought a little mini uh, vintage fire extinguisher and try and work out how to use that, incorporate in the, in the lamp. So I did so many different designs and I was getting confused. So in the end, I asked my wife what she wanted. So the idea is, is to make a wooden base. Uh, got a bit of sapili. Um, I'm gonna cut a block off of that and shape it. And also, what I want to do then is put a brass strip at the back of it and then put the fire extinguisher on there, light fitting on the bottom of there, and then a bulb on there. And then at the bottom here is going to be a, a switch. I managed to source a brass vintagey looking switch, and then the copper colored cable going to go through there and I'm going to screw some uh, little eyelets on the back. I couldn't get any brass eyelets the same as these, I, whether it's the timber, uh, the steel, whether it's the brass that's too soft and it, it won't do so. I've had to do with stainless steel but I will polish them up. That is the idea but what started all this off? is that I wanted to polish up the brass. So, you being me, I had to buy a polisher. This is one by a company called Sealy. Uh, they're okay, starter. I think it was about 110 British pounds. Uh, but then you've got to get the buffing wheels. I've brought different buffing wheels for uh, the different jobs. I've written on them the color compound that you need to use with each one. Uh, that's a harder one with blue. And then the compounds are green, blue, black. There's a various amounts of them all do a different job. So this is a learning curve for me too. So it's either going to look really nice or I'm just going to have a load of melted brass in front of me. Ah, I have got better at CAD. Let me show you CAD drawing. A lot better than the last one. I'm getting quite good at this, isn't I? This cat stuff. It's all right. The only way I'm going to know if I'm going to be any good at it is uh, give it a go. But I've got to build a thing first, yeah? So let me start that. You want to leave this place where we grew up This old town, just put it all behind Remember you and I Would always find somewhere to hide When we were kids so we could see And hear the water run River's gonna cry when you're gone In the end, I put three uh, grub screws in the back of that one to try and stabilize it even more. 
what I will do is put some resin glue behind there to hold, make sure it doesn't move at all. That hole started to run off center when I was using it in the pillar drill. So I went over to a battery drill and did it myself because you can move a, li a little bit. And there's the other hole and then trying to get the cables through there is a bit of a mare. But I filed out all the inside to not snag the cables when it's in there. And also I'll be spraying some like a rubberized, rubberized solution in there and it will coat the inside. And then I shall uh, polish it all up. Hopefully all being safe, it will be earthed and everything. So what I've got to do next is cut the brass from there and glue that down. And the sun would always shine When we sat there, you and I The river's gonna cry when you're gone, gone because this is a light piece of sapili, uh, once you've got all the brass we're on the top, it's going to be top heavy. So, what we're going to do is cut out the back and put two bits of lead in the bottom to give it a lot more stability at the bottom. Drill a hole for the switch that's going to be in the centre of that piece of brass and then get put all the wiring through the middle of the two bits of lead and out the back. That's the plan. To get this extra weight all squashed in here, uh, these now slot in there. This piece I've had to cut the corner off because when the slight switch goes in the middle, I've got to try and get the cable through. And then I'm just going to cut a slot there and the cable's coming out the back of the light switch. Uh, it's coming out the back of the light fitting. So when that's over there, that light switch should fit in there. It just happens that these terminals are facing the wrong way. They're causing me a nightmare because there's an on and off and you can't turn it the other way around. What a waste of time. Well, there you go. But we'll try and squeeze it in there anyway and see what happens. I've just sanded all the big scratches out on this. It's been uh, a bit of a mission, really. I started off with uh, 120 to get the big scratches out. Went to the 240 uh, wet and dry stuff. What I want to do is, first of all, see how much the black compound actually cleans it up or polishes it up. I might have to go to, down to something like a uh, the wet and dry stuff, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm learning as well. Not just one in a million stars. I just want to dance, dance. Swapped over the wheels and going to use the green polish on this one. Um, but it's coming up really nice so far. But what they don't say is what mess it makes. <laughs> it's absolutely, it's looked like we've got an explosion in the soot factory down here, it's horrendous. It's gonna take me ages to clean all this up. But uh, even the fire extinguishers come up really nice, and that's before I put the polish on. So, wanna give it a go? See how shiny we can make it. A mask is a must, and also eye protection can overdo the compound on the wheel. So and they say a little and often is better than uh, putting a load on there. And when you do put a load on there, it just flies everywhere. in a magazine 
on the back, what I'm putting the cable through is this little loop that I've drilled through, put a thread in there, and then I'm putting this brass uh, threaded sleeve over it. And what it is for, on the last lamp that she had, she used to hang her necklaces and back bracelets and things on the top of the lamp, so it's probably what's broken it. So I thought, well, if I put these on there, then it'll take the weight off the top of the lamp, and then she's got somewhere to hang her bracelets and necklace. I've done a double loop there to hold the cable. Hopefully, she'll use the pegs so she can hang her bra bracelets and necklaces on those. Well, that's it finished, uh, finally. It was been a bit of a learning curve with the buffer, the buffing wheels. Uh, the one I really wanted to finish on is the Jewelers Rouge, but it hasn't turned up. I ordered it about a week ago and it hasn't turned up. So um, it's shiny. The only thing is that it marks really easy. <laughs> the shinier it gets, the easier it gets to mark. So um, there is a bit missing. A uh, little wheel at the top there to turn the fire extinguisher on and off it would have been. Um, it got caught on the, the buffer wheel and it shot it to the floor and it's gone somewhere. A bit like loads of other things that have disappeared in this place. So uh, I'll try and find that and stick it on there. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed it. I've learned a lot. Um, till the next one. Uh, if you really like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you really, really like it, maybe subscribe. Cheers. Stay